Everyone's excited to be back here, back to normal. It's homecoming at Sycamore Farm. We've got it pretty much done now, um, and we're just excited to be back for the event. The seasonal artisan craft show had to change locations after March floods ruined the farm. This totally is shocking, it crept up on us, and I just, it wasn't supposed to get this high. The floods washed away acres of land, destroying fixtures, handmade crafts, and office space at the junk stock farm. It took months to remove excess sand. It's been, you know, a challenge to clean up all the junk that floated in here, but then the sand has been a real, you know, I guess I would say a nightmare trying to get that cleaned up. Most of the sand has been removed, but there are still piles of sand at the farm. We had uh, basically uh, about a 40 acre sandbar come all the way across our farm with two to three, four feet deep sand in some places. Luckily, their 100 year old home survived the floods. You know, we had some water in the basement, so we had a big mess in the basement, but um, it didn't come up into our main li living level. You know, the house is elevated a little bit. And although piles of sand still linger at parts of the farm, John says they're overjoyed to be reopening this weekend. We're almost back to normal once we get some some crops planted where the sand was. It'll be, you know, you'll really won't even know anything happened, hopefully. Now, Junk Stock takes uh, place this weekend here at Sycamore Farm. The show runs through Sunday, and they will have late night hours, so they're open until 11 o'clock tonight. There was so much to do and see here and taste. I had some honey, and it was delicious, homemade honey. So you'll definitely want to stop out here and, and just have some fun with your family and friends. Reporting live from Waterloo, Sydney Gray, 3 News Now this morning.